Hey, welcome back to YouTube. My name is Mike Schwartz. In today's Ninja Trader tutorial series, we're gonna talk about playback and why I think you should use playback in your trading, as well as how to download the data and all that fun stuff. Now, why should you use playback in your trading? Well, as I'm looking at the market right now, it is Thursday evening at about 11.05 p.m. You can see the market is not moving. Why is that? Well, the market is closed for Good Friday. So that means Friday, the market's gonna be closed as well. Saturday, the market's closed. Sunday, the market's closed. So essentially, I have three days as a trader that I'm losing out on working on my skill set. And you know, every day that goes by without working on your skill set, you know, the longer you're gonna be pushed away from your ultimate goal that you're trying to achieve. So by using a playback feature, we can trade off historical data and it'll come in as if it was real time and we can see the P&L move. We can work on, you know, m uh, manipulating our orders in terms of where to place our stops, where to place our targets, how to move those orders and, and, and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna share with you guys that here in just a moment. Now, there's two different ways we can download the playback data. One is, we can come right over here to your control panel and come over here to the tools tab. Then we wanna to go to historical data, click on that. And from here, we wanna click on the lower tab down here where it says load. Once we click on the load, it'll bring us to this screen right here. We wanna click on this little arrow looking thing where it says get market replay data. We click on that and I'm gonna simply just come right here to NQ and I'm gonna click on, you know, We'll click on, let's say the 11th, download. Now the downside to downloading the data like this is we gotta do it day by day by day by day. So it can take you know quite a bit of time to actually download the data that you want. Now one of the things that you might wanna do is download it on a weekly basis. You can download you know, three or four instruments for the whole week in about you know, 15, 10 to 15 minutes or so roughly. Um, if you're familiar with the platform, and it might even be a little bit quicker than that. I know it always seems a little bit longer than it probably really is. Now, once we have the data downloaded, we can connect to our replay data. But before so, I wanna show you guys another way we can download some historical data. So let's say that, for instance, I wanna, I'm gonna put this chart onto the MNQ, and I'm gonna go 06-22. And I have this on a five minute chart. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to data series, and I'm just gonna put it on five days. I'm gonna click okay. Now I'm gonna go down to right click. I'm gonna click reload historical data. Now when I reload historical data, all right, there we go. It should have you know, just downloaded all the data, make sure it's all up to date. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my connections tab right here, and I'm gonna disconnect from my data source. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, there we go. So now I've disconnected from my data source. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right over here and I'm gonna go to playback connection. Click on that and what we'll see is, you'll see this little guy, let's see if I can move it. Uh, it won't let me move it for the second. I gotta wait till everything finishes loading up. And then hopefully it'll let me um, move this over. All of my charts on my other screen are trying to load up, which I'll be happy once my New computer gets here tomorrow to speed things up a little bit. I'm just gonna move this, resize this. And what you'll get is you'll see this little playhead right here. This is how we can you know, speed up, fast forward, and all that stuff. Now, if you don't wanna use the playhead right here, what we can do is we can click go to, and essentially what I'm gonna do from this point is I'm gonna change the date, and I know we downloaded data for um, the 11th. So I'm gonna go right here to the 11th. I'm gonna click okay or basically go to, and now what it's gonna do, it's gonna take me to the 11th. All right, so now we're on the 11th, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit play, and you'll notice I don't see prices moving. Why is that? Well, in market playback, we downloaded data for the NQ, but not the MNQ. So if I go NQ 06-22, then we should see prices moving. You can see the bid ask moving, and as I speed this up, You'll see the price charts will actually, you know, start to move over here a little bit. You see the price right here going up and down, up and down. And when we go back to the MNQ, if you remember right, what we did for that is we reloaded historical data and we loaded five days. Now, what I'm going to do now is you can see MNQ is not moving. However, we come right over here to historical. 
But again, it gives you a little message saying it's not as accurate. We downloaded about five days worth of historical data by just loading the chart. Now, if I go ahead and hit play, now we can see the M and Q is actually moving. All right, because I switched this over here to historical. Now, again, it does say historical is not as accurate as playback. When I'm usually doing most of my back testing, I will go with market replay. However, if there's a later date and time that I have, I don't have the ability to access that data, then in that case, I'll go ahead and I'll reload historical data on the chart. And just so I can refresh with that with you guys one more time, in order to do that, what you'd wanna do is go to data series. In this case, I have five days, but you can have 30 days, 60 days, whatever the case may be, loaded. And then once that's loaded on your chart, you would just right click on the chart and click reload historical data. And that would download multiple days at one time. However, it's not gonna be as accurate and you do have to have a live data feed. So if you're using NinjaTrader for free, that's really not gonna be an option for you unless you're paying for data, which if you're not using them to trade with, I think it's kind of a waste of money to pay for data. If you use the playback, the market replay feature, then that is 100% free. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to the NQ since we downloaded some data for that. And one of the things that we can do is I'm going to go over here and start with the 11th since the 11th is the day that we loaded. And let's say that I don't want to start over here at 12 o'clock at night. I can right click on the playhead, click go to, and let's say I want to go to, I will go to roughly when the market opens. I'm just going to change the date there. And we're going to go to right here, 931, just after the market opens when there's plenty of volatility out there in the market. Now, one of the things that we can do is, hopefully this will be moving, I'm gonna slow this down a bit. Again, my goal with this video is not to try to make money um, as I go to execute trades, but what I wanna show you is the power. So essentially, if I hit buy, I have an ATM on, look what I can do. I can move my target and my stop orders around. I can, I can learn how to initiate a trade. I can work on a specific strategy that I have. Now let's say that, like, ah, I don't really like this trade anymore, I wanna go ahead, and I want to exit, boom, exit the trade. And that trade in real life would have lost $175. Now I'm like, ah, I want to go short. So I go ahead and short the market, move my stop up a little bit. And let's say I want to add another one to it. Again, you can work on, you know, being able to move the orders and you can trade as if it was real time. Now, if you want to speed things up a little bit, then all we have to do is come over here to the playhead and look, target one was hit on that trade and we're up $700. I'll say, okay. Thank you very much. Just go ahead and hit the close button. And now in this little sample size, we're able to make $900 of fake money. Again, not real. And the goal of this video wasn't to try to make money. It was just to show you guys how to use the playback feature. If you guys have Mac, uh, MACD strategy or any other type of strategy, then you can use the playback feature. If you guys have been involved with Algobox, you know Vinny is, um, is all about playback, 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 playback. I've been on the playback bandwagon since before I ever started with NinjaTrader. That is one of the features that have me switch from my prior broker over to NinjaTrader. I used the playback feature for essentially two years. And then I said, you know what? I really like the platform and how everything works. Let me go ahead and put a little bit of money into NinjaTrader, buy the platform and put some money into a broker and you know trade for a little bit. And once I did, I went ahead and you know closed out my other brokerage account and then started using the NinjaTrader platform for all of my charting features and all of my trading. The chart trader is amazing. And again, that's one way where you can work on, you know, getting in and out of orders. You can work on the ATMs, all that fun stuff. And just remember guys, in this video, if you guys wanna learn more about Algobox, there's a link in the description box down below where it says, join Algobox free Discord room. You can learn all their strategies. They have very powerful strategies over there. And if you wanna watch more of the Ninja Trader um, series, tutorial series, there'll be a link in the top right hand corner of the screen or a link in the description box down below where it says Ninja Trader 8. And you can go through that playlist and you can refer back to it at any time. Like always, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please get a big thumbs up. Till next time, good luck and good trade.